All righty, I think we can go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm Sam Cracky, one of the application engineers at Endopology, live from my beautiful home office, aka the garage. <laughs> Little different than our uh, usual office building in Manhattan, but works for this quarantine. <laughs> so um, I don't know if anyone is as obsessed with shoes and sneakers as I am, but growing up as an athlete, I always wanted the coolest sneakers, um, you know, or cleats with my name on them, or maybe, you know, colors that are my team's colors. And so I'm going to show you today how in Entop Platform, we can create some really cool aesthetic textures and also um, make some data-driven lattices. Uh, which would be awesome for some sneakers. So all of the files, the two files that I'll be showing today, um, we'll make available to you guys so that, you know, after this, you can rewatch this video, um, play along with these files, maybe build them up from scratch. Um, additionally, if you don't have a license of our software or a trial copy, feel free to go to our website and you can inquire about one on there. Um, Finally, if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to write in the chat um, and I can either answer it live or we'll get back to you, email you at a different time if we're not available to get to all the questions today. So getting started here, uh, first example I'll show is how, so we have some simulation built into our software, um, which includes linear static analysis, modal, buckling, thermal, and we also have topology optimizations. Um, but we also play really nicely with some external simulation uh, packages. And so you can import um, different stress fields. And so I've brought in this pressure map of my actual foot. So let's view this here. Excellent. So there's my left foot. And, you know, we can see in these red zones, we have some higher pressure. And then in those blue zones, that's where we have less pressure. And I can bring in this data as a point map and then convert it into a field. And, you know, with NTOP, we do a lot of this field-driven design. And so we can use this pressure field here to control my lattice structures. So I have this map. Now I can import my shoe sole here, and this was just um, an STL that I brought in, and then we can convert it into an implicit body, which is our na NTOP native file format. Um, this is how we do all of our modeling. So I brought in the shoe, I converted it, and then I lined it up with my pressure map here as if it's my actual foot stepping down on this shoe sole. And now I can fill up this shoe sole with a lattice structure, maybe this tet lattice that we have, um, or more of this foam-like lattice structure, this digital foam here. And so we can use that pressure map to actually vary this lattice structure. And we can do so by controlling the density of our lattice. So I can have um, much more dense lattice in those higher pressure zones and controlling this by adjusting the pore size of this digital foam here. And again, we can do the same thing with this tetrahedral lattice by controlling the edge lengths of these tetrahedrals. So you can almost kind of see, this is like the ball of my foot here. You can see my big toe and some of my other toes here. And so this is a really great way to, you know, add more reinforcement and support for a specific person's um, foot and, you know, their stability and how they're gonna be using these shoe soles. And then we're having less support, a little more flexibility in those areas with less pressure applied. And so now that we've controlled this 
you know, middle zone here, our lattice structure, our next step is to go ahead and add some of that aesthetic texture in and we can add um, maybe some really cool traction patterns. So within this file, um, same type of workflow to start out. I brought in this shoe sole, which is actually a CAD model. I imported this directly from SolidWorks. Um, and now I'm gonna be using this bottom face here as the face that I wanna apply these textures to. So of course, our first step always is to convert that imported CAD model into our implicit end top format. And now we can use this same field driven design approach, but in a little different way. So we're not using simulation data anymore. We're using some of these really cool 3D texture fields. And so if I turn on my field viewer for this ripple effect. We can see that I've created this texture catalog of a number of different really cool patterns that I'll be able to apply to my shoe sole. And so now that we have those, I can drop those into this texture swap variable that I've made and we can run through and apply all these different textures to my shoe So now we're applying this angular one. Maybe we want to add this herringbone. And these are all just renderings of the screen. Maybe let's add some noise. And lastly, we can add these cells. This one's my favorite, I think. Yeah. So just some really cool, nice aesthetic traction patterns that you could customize. And, you know, we can also really easily control and change what areas of our shoe these are applied to. So maybe I only want to have these textures in certain zones. I can just swap out entire sole or maybe just a couple different points that I've specified. And now this workflow is going to rerun for those specific points. And I can also control this nice blend between um, these zones where there's texture and our smooth zones. And so you can see here, I have a pretty sharp cutoff um, from this texture to the smooth, but you know, maybe I want to change that variable and make that be a nice um, smooth transition. Really easy to just adjust these numbers and so quickly iterate through all these different design possibilities. And so the nice thing about using NTOP platform is also that we have these reusable notebooks, as we say. And so I can take this whole workflow that I've set up and I've, I have this entire texture catalog, basically, of all these different textures that I've made and I can run through them really easily. Um, but I could combine this with that latticing workflow as well and then make it so I can just really easily pull out maybe the specific individual's pressure data as well as what texture I want to apply to the shoe sole. And then just really easily drop in people's individual pressure maps and their different, um, you know, foot scans. And we can customize all these different shoes really easily and reusable and, you know, usually having Custom workflows and also reusable ones is not two words that go together, but 
with NTOP, we make that really easy and really possible. So pause here. Um, you know, that's the end of this demonstration. If anyone has any questions, feel free to write them in the chat. Um, again, these files will be available for anyone to play with them after this session. And of course, you can um, inquire about a license on our website. Also feel free to follow our YouTube channel, subscribe to it and follow us on LinkedIn because we'll be doing these live sessions um, a couple times a week. And so just throwing out some really cool workflows that we can do in the NTOP platform. So the way that I was importing um, the pressure map was through a CSV file. And so we call this uh, importing a point map, but this comes through as a CSV is a XYZ location and then a scalar value at each one of those locations. And so we can actually import a number of these CSV files. Um, they can be representing pressure data as they are with this shoe sole. Um, but they can also be representing maybe a density field from a topology optimization result. Um, question is, can we do custom lattice? cells. So within NTOP, um, we have a number of different lattices that you can choose from. We have some implicit surface-based lattices, like our TPMS lattices, like a gyroid, for example. Um, and then we also have a number of different volumetric lattices, Voronoi lattices, um, orthofoam. But with these volumetric lattices, you can see we have a number of different unit cells um, within the software already. And if you're looking for a different unit cell than this, we're actually coming out with a new latticing pipeline really soon. And you'll be able to create your own custom cells uh, within this new structure. And we release um, updates to our software every two weeks. So, you know, we're always coming out with brand new features that we wanna share with all you guys. Um, question is, how can I align the pressure map to the exact position in my midsole? We have this awesome block called Orient Object, and this allows you to move one object to another really easily. Um, so you choose whatever object that you want to move. This might be my pressure map, and you can define your source plane. And so Within each of our blocks, we have a properties tab, and this is where you can access all the different properties within um, that part, whether it's the centroid of the part, your maximum point, you know, all these different values. And so we can take the centroid of that pressure map and really easily line it up with the centroid of our shoe sole to make sure that these are aligned perfectly. All right, I think that's all the questions we have. So thank you guys for joining. Um, again, feel free to get a license by going to our... Um... Oh, sorry, one more question. Can you show applying the gyroid from the field? Yes. So we have a couple different ways that you can apply gyroid lattice. Um, you can either just choose this TPMS block here and drop in your body, define your cell size and your unit cell here. Um, we also have these field lattices. And so here you just define your cell size and then you're gonna wanna apply that to your actual part um, because that's an infinite field 
of gyroid. So you can apply that to your part by intersecting using this Boolean intersect here and intersecting that gyroid body with your actual part. And so we're saying with that Boolean intersect, it's kind of like the uh, center part of a Venn diagram, but anywhere where your shoe sole model is touching that gyroid field, you'll get a gyroid and then anywhere outside of that shoe sole, all the material will be eliminated. All right, I think we'll end it there. So thank you guys all um, for joining this. And you know, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on um, LinkedIn as well. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and have a great day. <laughs>